Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you! Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Jonah, put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright, but he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking har. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right, tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. The saloon's this way. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the range these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. <laughs> Walton's the top screw. Let's get after him. He spotted you. Stay on him, boy.
Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. How long's easy money for easy work? Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's a star, but there's plenty more where he came from. This hill. Move up to that wagon on your right. I'll cover you. There's one behind. Take him alive! Walton, your killing days are over. It'll be trial and the rope for you. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston.